Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I'm sharing with you a flip through of the All About Robin subscription kit, the planner, the mini, and the large kit. So let me get started here. Right off the bat, you're going to get almost, I think it's close to 200 pieces in this kit. So it's a lot of stuff. You're going to get about seven different types of charms. I've got these little flowers. They'll be random, different colors. I've got a couple of tiny, tiny little jingle bells because I thought they were really cute and be fun. There's a key, a birdhouse, a bird, a music note. There are seven of these bulb pens. I decided this time it'd be kind of fun to offer some little paper clips. So I've got these coated paper clips a spiral paper clip and then just a regular paper clip that you can alter there's also a few buttons you will also get some beads as well as some flat backed rhinestones and some sequins and then each kit will get different ones but you'll get these little bitty stickers that have birds on them i found them and i thought they would be super cute so let me move this out of the way in this kit this time around, yes, it does cost more than you've paid in the past, but now you're getting two different stencils. You get the main All About Robin stencil. This is images that are graphics that Norella used throughout the kit, and I turned it into a stencil, and I've already done some tutorials on using this with a gel press. I hope you'll look at those. That was from a week ago. And then here is the half sheet stencil. So I hand drew this one so you get the little flowers kind of pattern on this side and then these really fun funky little boxes on the other side then you get a full napkin this is a 12 by 12 napkin that you can use I love the pink flowers in it you get a 12 by 12 piece of damask tissue paper that you can use then you get some little envelopes. Now these envelopes may be sealed shut because I got them for a really, really low price. So you can gently peel them open. You could slit the top. You could use them as they are. You'll get this little tag that you can use. You'll also get, where'd they go? I had three of them. Well, we'll come back to that. Some more little envelopes. These are little ticket shapes. That already have the shape that you can stamp on, write on, collage on. Some little fancy paper. Some artist trading card size and craft. Just a couple of different sizes of craft. This is a U.S. savings bond envelope. I just thought it was interesting, so I thought I would share it. This is a pearlized piece. All right, here is three different little mini file folders. They've got the score marks so that when you put them together, you've got a right, left, and center tab. So I thought those would be fun. More of the craft color these are squares and then i've got them in white they're kind of a lightweight watercolor paper then we've got a larger craft another larger craft this is a scored card so you can fold this in half you could cut it apart and make two cards out of it then you have a couple of sets of pages so these are dictionary pages Bible pages, and then a gardening book page, and another dictionary page. They'll all be random, so there's two sets of those. You'll get one sheet of some music from a music book. They'll be random. I've got a couple of larger 5x7 journal cards. You'll fold these in half. An 8x8 eight eight ledger paper. I decided this time to give you some 100 pound cardstock. So this is heavy cardstock. It's the same cardstock used for the cover and elements in the kit. And I thought you might like this because you could make a secondary cover. You could cut this up and make two five by sevens or three four by six or nine artist trading card size papers. So you get two of those. You get three sheets of this copy weight paper in this bright pink. I thought that was perfect match to the kit. And then you also get two little uh, A2 size envelopes. You get a laser cut chipboard, 
Look at that. Isn't that intricate and beautiful? This was an image that Narola shared with me. I had to go in and edit the file so that it would cut and keep as a solid piece. So like here I added some touching of the leaves so that the things wouldn't flop away. Now when you get yours, there may be a couple of hanging chads like this one is kind of a little hanging piece. I won't be picking all those out because that's too time consuming, but it should just gently pop right out. All right, so those these are kind of different maybe you may think they're weird but they're um canvas circles i thought those would be kind of neat that if you wanted to make it look like a nest or maybe you want to make a tag add some fibers to it you've got the sequins and buttons as well as the flat back rhinestones to decorate those You'll get a yard of this wired edge ivory ribbon that you can use. You get a yard of this pink sequin trim. Then you get a yard each of all of these fibers. So we've got, uh, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus the lace. So that's a bunch of pieces there. You'll get a couple of doilies little bitty ones this is a little paper sack that I just thought was so pretty again it matched the colors that you would get to play with and then let's go over the kit now I've got a poll asking y'all if you want this bound or unbound and it does make a difference so I just wanted to find that out ahead of time but this is the cover of the subscription box journal and that's the inside you can see the little patterns that we use for the stencil. This is a fussy cut element, so some journal cards, a belly band or two, some little cards. Here's another fussy cut. You get four fussy cut pages. Here's another one. This one we added words on here. I love the egg. The song of the robin. And then the last fussy cut page. So again, another belly band, some journaling cards, words, little elements that you can add to other pages. And then this time we decided to add more journaling pages. In the past, you got three of the same type of page, but this time you get six pages. And we decided to kind of match it like we do to the large journal kit. So you get one page that has this image and that's on this side. And then you get three pages like this, so they're the same. Then you get this page, another one of those, and this page, and another one of those. So that is the printed portion. And then you get this color, it's a tealy, uh, kind of a, almost a Tiffany blue, but not quite because I thought it matched in the kit because we've got so much pink wanted a little bit more pop of the blue so that's the subscription box items put that away all right and now let's look at the planner kit so this time we also made some changes in the planner kit now you get some fussy cut elements in the planner kit this is the cover for the planner kit here's the other side and then you get some journal cards in the planner kit and then here are the journal pages so you get a two-week spread here and then journaling lines this is a journal page just journaling lines all the way around you get a one month spread that you can use in your journal. So if you want to put that at the front, you can start with this page and then have that page. And then we've got this page here. So some notes can be written on those. There's another week page and journaling lines, more journaling lines on this side. And then here's another week page. I believe that puts five weeks, one, two, three, four, it depends four weeks in there. All right, so that is the planner kit. These are also available as a digital download. So you can get them as a physical printed kit, 
or you can get as a digital download of all of the printed material that I'm showing you. So the large journal kit is here. You get two covers, eight journal pages, and six element pages. We decided to add another journal page. In the past, there were seven pages, and that's kind of hard to split between two journals. So I asked Nero, let's add one more set of pages. So this piece could be cut apart, so you could use these pieces in your journal if you so choose. And then this is one of the journal's covers. And then this is the other journal. No, that's not it. I've got it mixed up. One of these is the other journal cover. And I have forgotten which one it was. Oh, here it is. There's the other journal cover. It accidentally got printed on the wrong paper. So it will be correct in your kit, but this is my sample. So he print this on the wrong page. So here's the other cover images. Again, this will be a 100 pound cardstock. The journal pages are on like 24 pound and these are printed with a laser printer. So you don't have to worry about if they accidentally get wet that it will bleed. So that is the second cover. And then here are the journal pages. I love the robins. It's kind of fun. Lots of fun colors. Very spring-like. So since we are January to February, we're looking forward to the spring. So you can have this ready for when the robins do come out. Maybe you want to use this as a gardening journal or a special occasion, a birthday, something like that. Lots of pages. And then here's this page. I love the texture that Norella put in here. All right, and then here are the Fussy Cut Element pages. So you get the word search, which we've been doing in all the kits. Lots of birds and robins and flowers. Another one. If an egg is broken by an outside force, life ends. If it is broken by an inside force, life begins. Great things always begin from the inside. I like that. That's a nice quote. Got the little robin here. I love these large journaling cards. And then she's made these kind of domino size images that you can use to decorate your pages as well as the tickets. Y'all love the mason jar. So she put one in this kit. A little pocket here and then here's another little pocket over here again that's also available as a digital download so you can get it as a physical printed kit or as a digital download and then lastly in the printed realm this is the mini journal so this is how the cover is supposed to look like on cardstock smaller so you get two journal covers and then you get four, oops, it's upside down, journal two-sided pages that you can use like that. And you get a fussy cut elements. I just asked Norella, I said, you think you could make a few little fussy cut elements? And I think these are perfect size to add to the journal so you could tuck other things in with your pages. Then lastly, these are the colors that are the add-on kit. I decided to go with two different shades of pink. So you've kind of got a more of a coral pink. And then this is a real pale, almost a lavendery pink. And then you get this fun yellow. And you get a green and a red because I thought the red was needed for a little bit of the robin's chest, you know. And then the green, I just thought would be funny, fun for accents. And then we've got this beautiful brown, so you can make your bird's nest or just spray around the edge and get a little bit of vintage look. So those colors are available as a set of six for $25.99. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing a flip through of the All About Robins journal kit, subscription box kit, planner kit, mini kit, <laughs> and of course the large journal kit. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Do check the description box below for links to these products and more that I offer in my shop. I also have a whole line of rubber stamps that kind of match the Robins as far as there's a little Robin duo and lots of little birds and flights of fancy and there's eggs and that kind of stuff that you can go with it and do come back on Monday January the 27th to see me 
build a journal with the subscription box live and I'll be doing some more throughout that week and then of course I'll be back on Thursday to give you some mixed media ideas as well all right everybody thank you so much for watching have a fabulous day and we'll see you soon bye